What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to Daily Dose of Transfer Gossip and today is the Wednesday the 9th of August. And there is a lot to get through today so just before we get started, as always if you can show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. Remember, 1000 likes is the title for today's video. If you're new to my channel make sure to click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and press the notification tab next to it to receive notifications about my videos. If you missed yesterday's video will be down below in the description box. And today's question of the day, if Liverpool sell Coutinho to Barca, who should they replace him with? Let me know your answers down below in the comments section. But now, let's jump on to confirmed deals. And the very first one is in the MLS for Seattle Sounders. The player is Lamar Neagle and he's joined them from DC United and the fee, it just says trade. It might have something to do with draft picks, we're not 100% certain on that. And I think previously, he has played for Seattle Sounders before DC United. Then we move on to George Thomas going to Leicester City from Coventry for an undisclosed fee. He's a followed by a Spaniard called Thomas Pina going to Deportivo Alaves in Spain from Club Bruges in Belgium for a loan deal for the season. Then we've got to play honestly, I can't really pronounce his name, I'm gonna call him Adam for now, but he joined Burnley from Birmingham. Again, though, it's an undisclosed fee. And then we have one for Leeds United fans, and that player is it going to be Berardi, a defender, getting a new contract until 2020. And then we move on to Carlos Vela, who used to play for Arsenal back in the day, but for a long time now, has been playing in Spain for Real Sociedad, but today, or yesterday in fact, he joined Los Angeles Football Club. So that is an LA Galaxy, but it's a new MLS team for the 2018 season, starting in March. At least I think it's around the March time, but either way, he's joined them, like I said before, at the fee, they didn't really mention it, but I'm pretty certain he's a designated player. It's very similar to the likes of Orlando, New York City FC, and you've got Atlanta this year as well as Minnesota. Every single team, they get a designated player, like Kaka went to Orlando. I'm pretty sure David Villa was New York City's, and Carlos Vela, he's Los Angeles FC. And because he won't be playing until 2018, most likely now, he'll be joining a team on loan. And another signing in the MLS yesterday is it going to be Pedro Santos, who this year got an 87 rated team of the season card. And he's joined Columbus crew from Braga in Portugal for around £1.8 million. Ezekiel Munoz has gone to CD Leganes from Genoa for 2.25 mil. Then we've got Crown Vita going to Zenit from Atletico Madrid. And so far as transfer window, Roberto Mancini, he signed a lot of Argentinian players. And according to most reports, the fee for this one is €8 million. Euros. And next up on your screen is going to be Troy Deeney, but it's not about him, it's about a new signing for Watford. So he's not on FIFA 17, but the player is called Ricarlison. He's joined Watford from Fluminense in Brazil for a fee, a lot of different ones are going about, but most sites saying around 11 to 12 million pounds. And he's signed on a five year contract to be a new player for FIFA 18. Next up, we've gone to Lamina, going to Southampton from Juventus, and the fee again, most sites are saying different ones, but Sky Sports are saying it's worth up to 20 million pounds after bonuses. And I believe that one is also a five year contract. And the final confirm today is a going to Dalbert going to Inter from Nice. So it hasn't been fully confirmed just yet, but as Italian clubs tend to do, they tweet out pictures of him having a medical, so today it'll probably be all confirmed. We don't know the official fee just yet, but if it goes through today, it'll be in tomorrow's episode. But now let's move on to potential deals. And the very first one is according to Daily Mail. Chelsea are continuing to discuss a move for Danny Drinkwater, and a Leicester City midfielder he is keen to move. I'm not sure if any sites have mentioned a fee just yet, but imagine if he does want the move, it could happen very soon. Then move on to Ben Gibson linked to multiple clubs today, but in particular today according to Sky Sports, it's West Brom. They are saying that West Brom are expected to return with a third bid for Middlesbrough captain Ben Gibson after having a £20 million offer rejected. It appears that Middlesbrough are holding out for 25 mil, Man City also been linked to him, and recently, Sir Southampton. And if Southampton do go in for him and get him, it could be a replacement for Van Dijk. And now we've got a very short one according to multiple sources today, former Sunderland midfielder Sebastian Larson is in talks to sign for whole City on a free transfer. And now we move on to Musa Sissoko, who to be fair, a lot of Tottenham fans seeing this, they probably want it to happen. So first up according to Day Mirror, Musa Sissoko is wanted by Trabzonspor, but Spurs are unwilling to sanction a move because the Turkish club only want a loan deal. But Trabzonspor are claiming they've made a loan offer for Sissoko and talks have gone well. Basing off last season, I think it's pretty safe to say at this point in time, he's not in Pochettino's plans for next season. I imagine a loan deal, it could do him some good. He needs to get more first team football and he also needs to get his confidence back. So move to Turkey and move to Trabzonspor, they can offer him that. And next up a very, very short one, but Carl's back as agent has said on Sky Italia, Monaco called me to ask about Carl's situation. If you go back one week ago, he was linked to Marseille for 15 million euros and possibly this could tie in with something later on in the episode. It's about a Monaco striker potentially leaving the club. 
Next though, we move on to Gilvy Sigurdsson. And Ronald Koeman has been speaking publicly about Gilvy Sigurdsson and how he hopes to get it done over the weekend. Well, that was last weekend and it's still not done. The Sky Sports are saying negotiations between Everton and Swansea over a deal for Sigurdsson have broken down. But any suggestion the deal is completely off is nonsense. And some of the works that Sky has to the two clubs currently are less than £5 million apart on price. So despite it seeming to break down, Gilby Sigurdsson's Everton still looks very, very likely. Next up, we go on to Jura Cancelo into Chelsea today, according to multiple sources. Chelsea remained interested in Jura Cancelo from Valencia, and they were led to Aurier from Paris Saint-Germain, but according to Yahoo Sports, who to be fair, they're not really that reliable, they said no contact has been made between Chelsea and Serge Aurier. So if Chelsea signed Aurier or Cancelo, I'm pretty sure they'll be replacing Victor Moses. Next up, we've gone to Gabriel, again, very short on today, according to Dave Mira, also defended Gabriel as a £10 million target for Valencia this summer. There will be a fair amount of players leaving before the next transfer comes in. And next up, we have an update regarding Emery Moore and potential move to Inter Milan. So according to Kicker today in Germany, a deal between Borussia Dortmund and Inter Milan for Emery Moore is said to be close, with the Turkey international undergoing a medical imminently. Although no official confirmation of the deal has been made, the German outlet report that Moore will arrive on loan for €2 million, Euros, with an obligation to buy for €15 million. Euros. The 20-year-old only played 19 games last season for Dortmund since his move from Norgeland last summer. And now we've got a couple of updates regarding Mares as potential departure from Leicester City. And the very first one is a corner to Sky Sports. Rome remained hopeful of signing Riyad Mahrez after a third bid of £31.8 million or €35 million Euros was rejected by Leicester. And the Daily Mirror are saying that Inter Milan have joined the race for Leicester City's playmaker, Riyad Mahrez. This is after Roma had a third bid of £32 million rejected for 26-year-old. And they ended by saying the Foxes want £50 million for the Algerian. I think if Mahrez was to go to someone like Arsenal, they could get like 40 to 45 mil out of him, but to a team outside of the Premier League, I'm not sure if I got anywhere close to that. And next up, according to a source called Onda Cero, Manchester City have inquired as to the possible availability of Barca's midfielder, Sergio Busquets. Now, of course, Busquets is Barca through and through, but the possibility of being managed by Pep Guardiola again and a new challenge, it could tempt him. But I will mention that I have no idea how reliable that source is, so I won't really judge too much off that. But if it did happen, it'd be a very good signing. And next up, we've got a lot about Usman Dembele and potential move to Barcelona. So first up, according to RAC1, Dortmund have set Usman Dembele's selling price at 150 million euros. Sky in Germany are saying that Barca are yet to make a formal offer for Dembele, but the Dortmund attacker does want to move to the new camp. Sport Build are saying Barca's CEO, as well as Sport and Director, were both in Dortmund yesterday to discuss a deal. It was reported over the weekend by Demarzi that Barca had submitted their first formal offer of 70 million euros for the Frenchman. But that was denied by the Borussia Dortmund Sporting Director, where he told reporters, I'm not aware of an agreement. Kicker in Germany are saying Borussia Dortmund will allow Dembele to leave for 120 million euros. L'Equipe in France are saying the exact same thing that Dortmund, they won't negotiate a deal under 120 mil. And a couple of things about social media now and Dembele, Mustafa Diata, who's a Dortmund reserve player currently, and Usman Dembele's best friend, he posted yesterday on Instagram, I think it was, he's signing. It has been translated, but I will put a picture on your screen. And also, Dembele has changed his bio on Instagram, removing all reference to Borussia Dortmund. There is a lot going on right now regarding this transfer, and potentially Barca, they could get Neymar's replacement right there. And next up, according to AS, PSG are preparing to flex their financial muscles again as they tend to sign Atletico goalkeeper Jan Oblak. And now we go back onto a Barca rumour, this time it's Coutinho yet again. So apparently, according to ESPN, Barca have an agreement in principle to sign Coutinho from Liverpool for a fee that could rise to 120 million euros. Other Spanish sources are saying Coutinho's lawyers held a meeting yesterday with Barca. Barca will pay 98 million euros fixed, plus 21 million in variables. And the player will sign a contract for five years, so in total Liverpool receive 119 million euros. Now, of course, being a Liverpool fan, I really hope this isn't true, because despite that fee being absolutely huge, I'm not sure who honestly could buy right now to replace him with. But the reliable UK media have said the same thing, that Coutinho, he does want to go to Barca, but he doesn't intend to push through a move. And now a rumour that honestly, I can say from the very start, I don't believe whatsoever, but it's come out of nowhere. The headline itself does say Liverpool Ayo Tura Vidal has Naby Keita's alternative. Jürgen Klopp's side has spent most of the summer in a battle with Leipzig for Naby Keita's signature, but the Bundesliga side have held firm and seem to be reluctant to sell their prized asset. And with there only being three weeks after the window, Liverpool now are becoming restless and beginning to look at alternatives. And Arturo Vidal has emerged as an alternative target according to sources in Chile. He has also been linked to Inter Milan, but nothing so far has materialised. 
Again, though, I don't believe it, but if it was to happen, that would be pretty awesome. And second to last one today is it going to be about Mbappe and potential move to Paris Saint-Germain. So first up, we're calling to Daily Mail. PSG want another marquee sign to partner Neymar with Mbappe and Coutinho, their top targets. And according to TF1, Kylian Mbappe has decided he wants to move to Paris Saint-Germain from Monaco and PSG are ready to make a big offer for him. So potentially, they could pay 400 million euros this summer for Mbappe and Neymar. Now, of course, to fit in the financial fair play criteria, it will probably have to sell a couple of players after signing Mbappe. The likes of Serge Aurier, Angle Di Maria, Julian Dragster. Um, there's probably quite a few on top of that as well. Probably even Pastore. A couple of days ago, L'Equipe was saying Mbappe does want to leave Monaco this summer now, and PSG, I'm pretty sure, he was born in Paris. And I'm not going to lie, if Mbappe went to PSG to play alongside Neymar, that would be pretty incredible to see. And the final one today is according to Daily Express. Manchester United remain front runners to re-sign Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the winter. And as they corner to Jose Mourinho, so possibly next season, they could have Ibra and Lukaku. But that is the final one for today's video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. Remember, 1,000 likes is the title for today's video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and press the notifications tab next to it to receive alerts about my videos. If you missed yesterday's video, it'll be down below in the description box. And today's question of the day, if Liverpool sell Coutinho to Barcelona, who should they replace him with? Let me know your answers down below in the comment section. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.